Now at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamumunuhan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. Today is Saturday, February 19, 2022. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is Christian Gerald Chan. Good evening, Mata -mata everybody. Mantala, hindi muna makakasama si Asher Santos. Dahil nasa Kalamba, Laguna siya. And also for our technicals, led by Sir Mark Betita. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclo Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment. And we will be back after our commercials. Now this.
Para sa aking pamilya. Para sa aking kapwa. At para sa bayan. Kahit mahirap. Kahit masakit. Mahal ko kayong lahat. Kahit anong mangyari. Ikaw. Ako. Tayo. Ating isisigaw sa Sibong may tatak Ang at buhay Matapat pa rin tayo ang tropa hindi nang iiwan. Ang senyas isang instrumento. Ilang beses matumba, tayo huling baba. Luman ang ating pinagaling. Tayo ay muli iliwan. Para sa kanara, para sa pamilya, at para sa bayan. Tayo ang ida. Tuloy ang inkluso. Okay. Welcome back to Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, ladies and gentlemen. So, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, we will discuss to you a topic that we need in order for us, in order for us to finish our work on time. And that is why we need to improve our concentration, ladies and gentlemen. So, Christian, what is concentration for you? The one thing I lack right now, <laughs> because we get easily distracted. There, that's like that is why anyone is distracted because of things. That's why we didn't have the right to improve our concentration. So. Without further ado, uh, we will be asking Sir Mark to flash our PowerPoint right now. Is someone calling? Yes. I'm just telling Sir Mark to or to prepare the slides. Hi, Sir Mark. Good evening. Okay na. Can we share the slides, please? Yes. Share screen, please. Thank you. Okay. Share screen, please. Okay. Okay, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, everyone are watching, we will discuss to you about how can we improve our concentration. Next slide, please. So, Okay. When we improve our concentration, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever found it difficult to finish a task that is challenging for you, when you study for a quiz, for an exam, spend time with your projects, you have, might have wished to could, you could increase your ability to focus or concentrate. In order for us to define the word concentration, well, concentration refers to the mental effort that you direct toward whatever you're working on or learning at the moment. It's sometimes confused with attention span. 
but attention span refers to the length of time you can concentrate on something. So Christian, in, uh, in your own words, based mm -hmm. on the slide, what can you say about this? We need concentration to focus. What to, We need focus to finish tasks that are challenging and daunting. That's absolutely right. That's why, everyone, we need to improve our concentration. It's because we need to do this in order to finish our task on time. Next slide, please. So, to read about the factors of Factors that affect concentration. I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Hmm? Sorry. Oops. I will give you yep. the floor now. Thank you. Yeah, tama. Factors that affect concentration. Both attention span and concentration can vary for a number of reasons. Some can be, some can tune out distractions as easy as others, and some just some are either some are either getting older and wiser, and getting less sleep. Most people forget things more readily as they age, and decreased concentration can accompany memory loss. If you have a head or brain injury or have mental certain conditions, you might also, your concentration may also be affected. Uh, next slide, please, Sir Mark. Next slide, please. Thank you. Can you continue this slide, please? It's easy to become frustrated when you're trying to concentrate but just can't. This can lead to stress and irritation, which tends to make focusing on what you do need need to do even more of a distant dream. If that sounds familiar, keep reading to learn about research back methods to help improve your concentration. We'll also go over some conditions that can affect concentration and steps to take if you're trying to increase concentration on your own just doesn't seem, seem to help. Next slide, please. So here are the ways that what are the 12 ways that you can concentrate or focus? First. Train your brain. You can play types of games, games like Sudoku, crossword puzzles, chess, jigsaw puzzles, word searches, and memory games. The purpose of these games can help you get better in concentrating. If you guys know, if you're familiar with these, right? Sudoku. What's Sudoku? Meaning you, the numbers, right? There's actually a version. Yes, there's actually a version of. Sudoku in wherein you not just add you not just have to add the numbers from one to nine, but also if several blocks might contain as might lead to a certain sum. So you have an it's there's an extra level of difficulty involved in that area. Okay. And then also crossword puzzles, meaning you just match the correct word and spelling. When you across, up, straight, is that correct? When you do crossword puzzles, you may find this in crossword books or newspapers as well. They do have crossword puzzles as well. Chess. It's also a game. For example, if you know how to have your chess boards, they also have memory games. Memory games, mean if we all remember our childhood years, we know these. And the purpose of these games is to help us focus, right? Especially yes. at the old days when we were young until now when we grown up with these. Especially Sudoku and crossword puzzles and word searches. Do you know that? Yes. Okay. Next slide, please. Here. Num number two. Get yes, thank you. Number two, get your game on. Brain games may not be the only type of game that can help improve concentration. Newer, suggest, newer research also suggests playing games could help boost concentration. A, study stud, a 2018 study looking at 29 people found evidence suggests that an hour of gaming could have improved visual selective attention, which is your ability to concentrate on a specific task while ignoring everything else around you. So, but because the study is small, it's not conclusive. And it does it did it in it didn't determine how long it increased. That's why there's still some in the future. So, video games do have some positive effect on our concentration. I would think first-person shooters, for example, would be a great idea in theory because the way first-person shooters work is that in a soldier, you have to concentrate in war. 
Now, the thing about war is that you need to be alert. Your eyes focused, your ears open, your surround, your your senses ready. That's why when you play first person shooter games, they, it for me they try to increase concentration because they prepare you for any peripheral events that's going to happen around you. For example, if there's a gun firing behind you, you might know the enemy's near. For example. But I digress. Let's move on. Okay, next slide, please. Okay. When you improve your sleep, you have to say yeah, you have to sleep at seven to eight hours. This will help you concentrate because this is the sleep dep- deprivation can easily disrupt your concentration. Not to mention other cognitive functions such as memory and attention. Occasional sleep deprivation may not cause too many problems for you, but regularly feigning a good night's sleep can affect your mood and your performance at work. Being too tired can slow down your reflexes and affect your ability to do other tasks. You should also set up a schedule what time you want to sleep. Sleep at least 7 to 8 hours. Why? Because this will help us concentrate. Next slide, please. Can you read this, please? Number four, exercise. Increased concentration is among the many benefits of regular exercise. And for, for case in point, a 2018 study showed that, showed that on done on fifth graders showed that this physical activity could improve both, both concentration and attention after just four weeks. Even re- other resources, just re- researches, show that uh, show that even a year of moderate exercise can stop or reverse memory loss that occurs when our brain gets older. Next slide, please. This one is very important in the environment, especially sustainable development. We need to spend time in nature. The purpose of this is to, to boost your concentration naturally, like get outside every day, even 15 to 20 minutes, short walk in the park, sitting in your garden or backyard, and also to plant your your chosen plants for a range of positive benefits. And this will help increase concentration and productivity, as well as workplace satisfaction and air quality. Next slide, please. This one, Christian. Okay. Give meditation a try. Meditation and multi- mindful practices can offer multiple benefits, one of which is improved concentration. Meditation that invo- that emphasizes attention focus could help increase attention and focus. It also improves memory and cognition. Yoga, so when you talk about meditation, it's not just sitting side with your eyes closed. You can do yoga, you can deep, take a deep breath. Uh, this can help you. If you've never tried meditation, um, Look out for that list. And so in short, meditate at least a few times a day. If you want to improve your concentration, meditate. Next, please. Okay. In taking breaks, ladies and gentlemen, we spent a lot of hours, meaning struggle to focus is can make you feel stressed and anxious. That's why we need to take breaks. It's because when you take breaks, you take a short break, kahit one hour or two hours depends on you. This idea may seem counterintuitive, but it really works. When you go back to whatever you do, don't be surprised if you feel more focused, motivated, or even creative. This will help us boost our function functions and more. Next slide, please. Christian, your part. Okay, thank you. Present the music. They say music, music soothes the savage beast. So turning on music while working and studying may help increase concentration. Even if you don't enjoy listening to music while you work, using nature sounds or white noise to mask background sounds also help improve concentration, according to research. Type of music can make a difference. So 
ex and experts agree that if you listen to classical music, this can help increase your focus. If not, try ambient or electronic music that lyrics. Keep it soft or at the background noise and level so it doesn't keep it become a distraction. It's important to avoid choosing music to avoid choosing music you love or hate, since both types can end up distracting you. Okay, next slide, please. When you vary your diet, the foods that you need to eat when you boost your concentration are salmon and trout, white and yolk, eggs, blueberries, and spinach. Why? Because these foods are very healthy in order to boost your concentration. Avoid processed foods, too much sugar, and greasy or fatty foods. Next slide, please. Staying hydrated can also have a positive impact on your concentration. Even mild dehydration can make it harder to focus or remember information. Eating breakfast can help you by boosting your focus first thing in the morning. Eat meals that are rich in protein and fiber like oatmeal, plain yogurt with fruit, and whole grain toast with eggs. Next slide, please. Christian, the, your, your part. This is uh, optional, but there's no need to include caffeine if you don't like it. But it can caffeine can improve attention. If you feel your concentration starting to drop, you could drink some coffee or tea or some dark chocolates. So a, 27, a 2017 study found evidence to show that phytochemicals naturally found in matcha not only improve cognitive function but can help promote relaxation. So matcha, matcha may be a good alternative if coffee makes you feel too active. Next slide, please. When you try supplements, some supplements need better concentration and improve brain function. You have to make sure that you consult with your doctor or your healthcare provider before trying any supplements. Example supplements are folate, cholate, Choline, vitamin K, flavonoids, omega-3, fatty acids, and guarana seed extract. extract. It's because the reason why we need to do this is to improve your brain function and better concentration. Next slide, please. Can you, next slide, please, Sir Mark? This one, Chris, Christian, the, the last do one. Do a concentration workout. Concentration workouts often have children who have trouble focusing. This mental workout involves fully devoting attention to activity for a set period of time, aka discipline. Try these activities. Door do for 15 minutes. Spend a few minutes tossing a balloon or a small ball with another person. Set a timer for three to five minutes and try to blink as little as possible. Suck on a lollipop or hard candy until it's gone. Resist the urge to bite into it. Pay attention to the flavor, the sensation of the candy in your tongue, and how long it takes to eat it completely. After completing all the activities, ask your child to write a short summary and sketch of how they felt during the experience. Young children can simply use words to describe their feelings, aka do a disciplined activity. Discipline is, actually does improve concentration. Okay. Next slide, please. Other treatment options like if these tips can don't help, getting a professional opinion is done. Like Talking to a therapist, especially if you're feeling stressed or have changes in your mood. Something more significant than ordinary distractions could affect your ability to concentrate. We should we also consult with a trained professional to notice these symptoms. Many adults living with untreated ADHD have trouble concentrating or focusing their attention for long periods of time. A mental health professional can help diagnose this or any other condition and help you get started on treatment. Next slide, please. So what are the conditions that affect concentration? There are five of those. ADHD can create learning and memory challenges for both children and adults. It is usually characterized by a persistent pattern of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. Treatment can help improve the symptoms of ADHD. Cognitive dysfunction can affect your concentration. This can lead to developmental delays or disabilities, brain injuries, or neurological conditions that cause problems with the brain function. Next slide, please. 
Christian, the floor is yours for this. Thank you. Okay. Untreated mental health concerns, such as depression, anxiety, and involve, primarily involve changes in mood or emo- or, and other emotional symptoms. But they can also make it hard to focus, concentrate, or retain new information. When under a lot of stress, you might also find it hard to concentrate. You might also have, you might also find it hard, you, your concentration might be affected when you, when you have, when you sustain a concussion or head injury. The, usually temporary, but sometimes it can linger while a concussion may heal. If you, if, if, you, uh, if you also have vision problems, you might, you may also have, you know, your concentration might also be affected. So if you have, have it, if you have a hard time concentrating because you can't see or you might have headaches or you might or you squint, con- consult an ophthalmologist and then an optometrist. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, some ways to improve concentration may work well. For others, you may not seem to do much for you. Consider giving range of approaches a try to see what helps. Concentration refers to an individual's capacity to those what they pay attention and they want to ignore. That's why we need to concentrate because in layman's term, we need to have the ability to concentrate in order for us to function our memories and to make sure that we need to be stay focused. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we discuss this tonight is because first, concentration is very important, especially in whatever you do. It's because we need to make sure that we need to concentrate well on what you do or what you can in order to finish a task on time okay so that concludes our topic we will have our next part of our show let us have some updates in relation to the 2022 national elections it's in my other phone so i would like to read to you uh this one here so Comelec announced as Friday to revisit the guidelines after candidates and groups condemned the Oplan back class targeted against the violative campaign propaganda. In an ambush interview, James Jimenez told reporters that the full body is not deaf to the clamor of the public. In the past, we modified our rules. There is no guarantee na namangyayari yan that recently were open. Internally sa COMELEC, nire-review natin yan. Jimenez added that the COMELEC commissioners are looking into the issue because they took down oversized campaign materials in private properties. Because last week, the COMELEC insisted that they take down oversized campaign materials. Netizens, candidates, and legal groups called COMELEC after videos of enforcers dismantling campaign materials even in private spaces went viral on social media. Under the COMELEC Resolution Number 10730 and its IRR of the Fair Elections Act, campaign posters should comply with 2 feet by 3 feet. So Christian, why did COMELEC order campaign posters to comply with a size of 2 feet by 3 feet? Because it's election standards and they've set it. And that and two feet by three feet is like this. Two feet by three feet is like uh, this one. That's too small. Two feet by that's still too small. (laughs) That's still too small. Two feet by three feet is like um uh, it's like you you stack Uh, I'm not sure how to describe two, two feet, feet by three feet. feet. It's like one meter by 60 centimeters. So this pop, is like a shape of so, the flag for a birthday tarpaulin. Isn't that too small for birthday Or 24 tarpaulin. inch by 36 inches or two feet okay. by three feet. It is the size of a whiteboard. Can I share screen? I'll yes. show it to you. 
This is how. Okay. Based on the Comelec rules, it should be something like this. Be similar to this. Ah, okay, okay. I feel like it's better if we division realistically because it's because uh, it's a bit hard for me to imagine if it's two feet like that. by three feet or 24 inch by 36 inch and okay. also that's all for our election updates let's head over to the next part of our show which is sinoka <laughs> know your candidates in the 2022 elections next slide please sir mark so who are the two candidates Christian, you you first. Because you have two candidates. Okay. Panfila Lacson, sino ka? Panfila Lacson achievements include the se being Senator of the Philippines for 14 years. He was the chief of the, of the Philippine National Police from 1999 to 2001. He finished grade school at the Bayang Luma at elementary school in 1960 and high school at the Imus Institute in 1964. While Lacson imme initially wanted to be an agent of the NBI, he was invited by Classy to take the entrance at the Philippine Military Academy. After he graduated from the PMA in 1971, he was commissioned to the Philippine Constabulary. Before it was called the PNP, it's called the Philippine Constabulary. Then a major ser service of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, responsible for maintaining peace, order, and enforcement of laws in the country. In 1996, he earned the postgraduate degree of Master in Governance Management from the PLM. And then... Next slide, please, Sir Mark. <laughs> Our next candidate is Faisal Mangodadato. He, he is affiliated by the Deputy Chairman of the Katipunan Party of ARMM. He's, um, he's expected to run in 2019, but he's running for president. He studied in Philippine Women's University and Mindanao State University in Marawi. His policy focus is federalism creation of Bangsamoro, green environment, and rehabilitation of Marawi. He's a member of the Kamalayang Pinay Movement and Katipunan ng Kamalayang Tiyumanggi. So which everyone that this may, we need to urge everyone to vote wisely in the elections. Next slide, please. Now, it's a very important announcement. First, next slide, please, of our announcements. Christian, this one. Okay. Pilina, hey, H and I still selling. We have we have we have good we have we have we have awesome merchandise to sell, like such as t-shirts, t-shirts and tote bags. T-shirts, t-shirts cost 275.10 and tote bags range from 150 to 200 to 200 pesos, depending about, on the sizes you choose. How about the Talano Gold? It's 325 to 350 pesos. Small yes. to XL only. So how can you pay? Payment first before purchase. Actually, we'll be very strict of that. You have to pay via okay. GCash and you'll deliver your ordered products via the two couriers, LBC and GoGo Express. Next mm -hmm. slide, please. Christian, your part again for the uh, online shop advisory. Speaking of these materials, you continue to serve in quarantine alert level one to four areas. And, and our store hours are from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. In other words, we're open 23 hours and 59 minutes every day. For full list of orders, please visit our Facebook page or email handsinclusion at gmail.com. Like Carlos said, payment first before purchase. And also the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5. Next slide, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, next slide, please. We at Hansen Inclusion Philippines needs your help. To be honest, ladies and gentlemen, many of us have already struggled with our financial problems in our organization. Sa totoo lang, medyo karamihan kami ay nahirapan na kami dahil sa mga finances natin. So, Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. How? Scan and donate using GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. You will, and also through the Barya Para Sa Inclusion fundraising project, you may 
use an Alpen Chat or a coin bank like this, and you may also donate it through Union Bank as well. You will use this in one of our modes of payment in the online shop, GCash. You will see this in one of our posters regarding this on our social media pages and digital platforms as well. So ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, lang, please continue to help Hasinate Mission Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization. Please help Hasinate Mission Philippines for its fundraising event. Especially to those who are watching and those who are supporting our organization. And the proceeds from the sales from the online shop and for your donations will go to us here in Hands and Inclusion as we prepare for the formality, for the expenses, and for the financial aid of the members due to the effect of this trying time. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to our organization in advance. Next slide, please. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have any problems with your, let's say, your computer, your, if it's a laptop, a desktop, PC, personal computer, if you have your problems with your phone, regardless if it's an Android or iPhone or your, or your brand is Windows or Mac, or if you want to have problems with your tablet as well, if you want to download also your assistance for your games, if you want to download for your movies or music, please message Sir Mark Bikita through Mark PC Laptop Repair Services. You may contact him on his number, 0947-355-4759. Again, 0947-355-4759. Or you may message Sir Mark Bikita as well. Next slide, please. So we have one more event coming up for this month of February in Best Buddies, Philippines, which is next Saturday, February 26 at 4 p.m. Ice Cream Social. It's very, very exciting, guys, where we can create ice creams. What's, how about you? What's your favorite ice cream flavor, Christian? Cookies and cream and chocolate, cookie dough, mm -hmm. bubblegum flavor. Mm -hmm. Um Actually, anything I find in Caramia that that doesn't have nuts. <laughs> For me, everything actually. And also, after February 26, stay tuned as well for some of the events of Best Buddies Philippines for the month of March. So if you want to register for February 26, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and the registration forms will be sent to you as well via Facebook, Instagram, or the Viber groups and your emails as well. It will also be streamed live on the Best Buddies Philippines Facebook page channel. In Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Next slide, please. Christian, the floor is yours for this. I'll All right. Back. Please, co please continue to support our PWD artists uh, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our project called Project Sold Out, which is a collaboration between Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers. We've sold many... Please support... Please continue to support the, our, our work, our artworks. The artworks that the, these PWD artists make, special thanks to Hiraya Gal Gallery, and this project is done with in partnership with Ateneo Speed, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehab Sciences Student Council, HNI, Little Hads, ISCO, UNICEF, Philippine o Academy of Occupational Therapists Incorporated, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, Table Center, Lugon Ateneo, UP College Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. Thank you for supporting our the, the, the creative talent of our of fellow people with special needs. Slide, please. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're feeling hungry, especially for your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your merienda, or any occasion you have, 
if it's a birthday party or any occasion, then you may want to order some of the foods from the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant and the Kuya Korea Restaurant. For the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant, ladies and gentlemen, our menus are for the all-day breakfast, tapa sobra, chicken casino, corned beef brisket, homemade spam, and beef salpicao. Our sizes are ranged between solo to large, and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,450 pesos. Next slide, please. For our rice trays, especially you want to have it for your birthdays, your any occasion you have, or anniversaries. The rice trays are beef bulgogi, beef shawarma, beef gyudon, pork crackling bits, pork belly burnt ends, charred chicken, and boneless fried chicken. Sizes are ranged between so low to large, and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. Next slide, please. If, if you want to crave for the sandwiches, we have the fried chicken sandwiches, food pro sandwich, corned beef sandwich, and chicken cucina sandwich. Sizes are ranged between regular, large, solo, and box of course, and prices are ranged between 320 pesos to 1,540 Pesos. Next slide, please. Also, for the pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. Sizes are ranged between solo to large and prices are ranged between 290 pesos to 1,350 pesos. Next slide, please. How can you order there? How? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pick up or delivery. Be conveniently to any of the safe integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or email as well. Next slide, please. Also, if you want to crave for anything Korean and you want to order some of the foods, from the Kuya Korea Restaurant. The menus are beef bulgogi, beef bibimbap, pork samgyup, and k-pop chicken. Prices are ranged between 195 to 220 pesos. And for our chicken, we have the boneless popcorn chicken. Half and whole are the sizes and prices are ranged between 235 to 435 pesos with the flavors of gochu, ganjang, chicken, and k buffalo. And if you want to order there, if you want to order there, ladies and gentlemen, please check the Kuya Korea website for your orders as well. Next slide, please. Christian, your part. Okay, thank you. Follow, don't forget, follow us on our social media handles in handles in Facebook, Instagram, WordPress, Kumu, and YouTube channels. Don't forget also, to support us in everything. Twitter as well. Also Twitter, though, yes. Do we don't forget our Twitter. So here are the accounts that you may follow. We also check, you may also search these on your phones if you have your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So for Facebook, Anthony Inclusion PH, Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop. Instagram has an inclusion PH Kumu HNI Philippines Twitter on HNI Filipinas and subscribe to our Hans in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Next slide, please. So now is the time for our shout outs and greetings to Billicent, Makuse, and Lady Jean Florese, good evening to you and thank you for watching. And to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. For those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. Christian, can you go first for your greetings? 
Okay, thank you, Carlos. Shout out to your Lisa and family and friends. To H&I Philippines, hello everybody. To the previous at to the previous alums of Ateneo Speed and to the current members, I'd say hello as well. Comsat, AMS, and Saladon, hello to you as well. Hello. I I miss I really miss you guys. I miss my professors as well. Especially in Pace Academy. So super thank you for being with me throughout my years. Also, I see why Integrated Center for the Young. Thank you for taking me in. Um, I will, I will be speaking at an enga- at an engagement in UST somewhere in April. So stay tuned for that as I reveal more um, details. So don't miss it. And then also, um, according to Lady, uh, for uh, our tech team. Uh, shout out to Vitis to Lady Jane Florese, Antropon PWD, PWD the Arcades, and his family as well. For me, a shout out and greetings to my family, to Hands in Inclusion Philippines, especially to Roy Lan Marlang, to Best Buddies Philippines, to Michelle Aventajado, Best Buddies Benil, to Sir Martin Romero, and Joella Laurito, to other PWD organizations. Thank you very much as well. And then also to to my high school and college friends as well, and also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. For those who are watching us on Info Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you miss this episode on the for for this episode of our show, you may watch this again on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. Also, Christian, um, next month what will happen on March? We'll be celebrating the fifth anniversary of Hands in Inclusion Philippines. Yes. So, so stay tuned for that as well for next month. And then also, uh, despite all of the changes in the history of Hansen Inclusion for the past almost five years, this year, we urge, uh, this is the true days of a one inclusion nation and we are continuing to be with you. Patuloy kami maglilingkod sa inyo. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantala um, noong June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. As we prepare for the 5th anniversary of Hansen Inclusion Philippines this March, uh, we continue everyone for your support as well to the organization. And also, uh, apart also for your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of hands and inclusion Philippines in the future for its formality and also to expect a fresh new start in our organization. Next slide, please. For our code for the day, I give the floor to Christian Chan. Thank you. Focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Focus on your character, not your reputation. Focus on your blessings, not your misfortunes. This is by Roy T. Bennett. Why do we need this? So the purpose of this topic is to urge everyone to concentrate and focus on what we do in order for us to finish our task on time. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, you have, okay. So we have 10 minutes to go before we wrap up. Again, um, to, to those who are watching us on Inclu Radio, thank you very much as well. 
If you missed this episode, you can be viewed on the next day on the Anthony Fusion TV Teams YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. And then, uh, final words, please, Christian, before we have a few more minutes to go before we end. Keep positive and stay focused. It will get you far in life. And Carlos, your final words. And also, uh, as we said earlier, keep focus, focus on what you do. Because according to Roy Bennett, as what Christian said, focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Focus on your character, not mm. your reputation. Focus on your blessings, not your misfortunes. That's why we urge everyone to focus on what we do in order for us to finish and to fulfill our goals as we also need to do this not for the sake of ourselves ladies and gentlemen and then also that's why we need everyone to focus regardless of what you want to do so that we need to do this so that we can be so that you, that's why we need to adjust ourselves focus on our lives so for us to improve Is that correct? Yes. We still have eight minutes. So if you want, we can either wrap it up quickly or anything else to say, Carlos. And also, as we wrap up our show, um, first, thank you very much for watching. Magpayo tayo ka inclusion for this day. And also, don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday. As our organization, Hands in Inclusion Philippines, puts God first, regardless of our faith, we urge everyone that Sunday is a day of rest and faith. So that's why we urge everyone, regardless of our faith, to make sure that we have the right to be considerate and to show courtesy. Those people who are attending religious services, regardless if it's done online or on face-to-face -face mode. That's why your cooperation and also your silence is highly appreciated. As we prepare ourselves to enter the loving presence of the Almighty Father. How about you, Christian? Mm, there's none on my end. I have, I'm good. Okay. And again, um, again, please continue to support Hands in Inclusion Philippines. Purchase our products in the online shop. Donate and also to follow us on our social media sites and our official YouTube channel. This will be a great big help to us, especially this coming March next month wherein we'll be celebrating the very important milestone in the history of our organization, which is our anniversary of the organization. Okay. So we only have uh, so some time for us. And at any time, let's have the time to wrap up our show for this Let's call it a night here in Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. And uh, so, okay, and also our, here's our tech team, Sir Mark. Uh, you may show. Thank you for showing us our slides. And yes, thank you, Mike. For he's showing our, he has a camera actually for the screen. Okay, and also, and also, I hope you guys learned a lot from our show. If you refer to a new topic on, on Magpaya Tai Conclusion next Saturday. And we will be celebrating the Down Syndrome Awareness next week as well. Okay, that's a wrap for Magpaya Tai Conclusion for Saturday, February 19, 2022. On behalf of Asher Santos, 
on and our host for today on behalf of rather on behalf of Inclu Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines and also on behalf of Asher Santos and of course our previous hosts including our founder Raylan Marlang. I am your host Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Together with me is Christian Gerald Chan and Mark Paula Betita for our technicals for our show. I'll be back in StreamYard tomorrow at 5.30 in the afternoon for our special report episode. Okay? May awa ang Diyos, makakaraos po tayo. Sama-sama tayong lalaban para sa pangarap, pamilya at bayan. Hanggang sa ating katak para sa one inclusion nation. Hindi na paghanda sa ikalima ng anibersaryo. Makatotohanan inclusion ang at buhay ang solusyon. Posible. Muli, magandang gabi. May the mighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng Diyos ng buong may kapal. Okay, all together, Pilipinas, God first. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed evening to all. Good night. And bye for now. Bye-bye.